Off the coast of Papua New Guinea lies a group of low-lying atolls called the Carterets. But what should have been an idyllic South Pacific paradise is rapidly turning into a climate change disaster site. The combined effects of sea level rise, erosion, storm surges and increased salinity of the soil are making the Carterets uninhabitable. For 30 years, the local people have been fighting a losing battle to protect their island home. They have erected nets to prevent erosion and constructed walls made from giant clamshells to hold back the sea. As the sea level rises, salt is rapidly invading what little land the islands offer for cultivation. Before salt water destroyed their gardens, locals used to supplement their diets with taro, breadfruit and bananas. But now they're forced to survive on fish, coconuts and the occasional food supplies from the mainland. Many of our people are becoming weak because some don't have breakfast, some don't have lunch and even dinner because of a shortage of food. Local health workers blame the failing crops for malnutrition and are reporting an increase in tuberculosis and malaria. Now that salt water has also contaminated wells, even drinking water is becoming a problem. Island authorities fear disease and the risk of starvation may force people to leave the islands. Hello, Sister Martha. It's not their wish to go, but because the situation is forcing them to, to move. Because today there is absolutely no food people can rely on. And I think that is why most people around here are willing to go to accept the resettlement. For the children of Tawit school, class could soon be permanently over. The classrooms, already damaged by storm surges, risk flooding by the encroaching sea. And the teacher, who used to live at the school, has already been forced to leave her home. I don't really think this island has a future. <laughs> Surely it will disappear under the sea. Soon, both young and old may have to face relocation to nearby Bougainville. But especially the older generation is reluctant to give up the island's way of life. The Carterets may be completely submerged by as early as 2015 and are among the hardest hit. But communities around the Pacific face a similar fate. With the sea level predicted to rise up to 30 centimetres by 2050, Many low-lying Pacific nations, such as Kiribati, the Marshall Islands and Tuvalu, may have a bleak future ahead. <laughs>